Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Here we grow again with another show. I want to thank everybody that's here for being here and on this journey. It really is um, such an honor to share this with you guys, this um, <clears throat> this gift that I have, this ability, whatever you want to call it. Um so I'm really grateful when I set up my show in the morning and then I log in and start getting ready to uh, do the show. And there's so many people on the call log and so many people um, in the YouTube chat just saying hi, just joining in. It's really humbling and such an honor so thank you every single person and then that doesn't even take into account all the people who who watch um the show on tv or live stream it or listen to it on one of the podcast stations that it's on um thank you thank you so much thank you so okay we're going to get started with the show, and I'm going to do the same thing I do um, every every week. Um, but this, this week, I'm also going to channel a little bit because I'm being told I should. So I'm going to take callers from the call log. If you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. You can call in. You can ask a question, connect with a loved one. And if you have a question for your loved one or you want your loved one up above to answer a question, let me know that question right away. You can ask a question in the chat if you'd like to ask a question if you're on YouTube <clears throat> and you'd like to ask a question in the chat, you can do that. Uh, there is something else. Oh, I'll, I'll never reach out to anybody. Never, ever. I go live every Monday and Wednesday at... Monday at noon, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central time. And uh, let's see. Don't be scammed. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to um, start today with I'm hearing names. So we are going to do names first. So uh, if I say a name, and this can be your name, somebody in your family, a friend name, or the name of somebody up above who's just reaching out. Um, and the name can be for more than one person. So, for example, uh, if I say uh, Geronimo, um, it can be for anybody and everybody who is familiar with that. It doesn't have to be for just one person. But here we go. Um, the first name I'm hearing is Melissa. The next name I'm hearing is Mariana, Mariana. The next name I'm hearing is Beverly. The next name I'm hearing is Rose or Rosemary. Rosemary or Rosemary. The next name I'm hearing is Charles. The next name I'm hearing is um, Sadiq. The next name I'm hearing is, um, <laughs> I questioned the name, so they literally gave me a song. They said Jennifer, and I'm like, really, Jennifer? And they're like, Jenny, Jenny, who can I turn to? <laughs> yep, Jennifer. <laughs> so Jennifer or Jenny, um, then... <laughs> Why do why do I question? Why do I? Okay, the next name is Kelly, and the next and the last name is um, well, not the last name, Chuck, and then the next name is Robert, and then the next name is David. Those those are the names. I'm gonna go straight into songs. The songs again can be a song they loved, you loved, you you listened to it together, or simply. Simply, the song is just simply answering a question that you have about life right now. So the first song, and I actually did a video on this one this morning um, because it just will not stop playing in my head. 
but um, just to make sure it gets to the right person, um, it's that song, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend, and I don't know any more of that song. Um, is that the song that always also says, it's the time of the season for... I don't know. I really wish I don't, I don't really know that song, but there's that song or two songs, whatever that is. Um, the next uh, song that I'm hearing is, um, these, these songs today make time for a something, something make time for, a, I don't know. You make time. Um, these songs are kind of sad today. <laughs> They're heavy. <laughs> There's a lot of heaviness going on with these songs. Um, the, <laughs> the next, <laughs> we might just go to the channeled message. All in favor, say A. <laughs> um, the next song is, um, they're going to this song, take, it's back to the, I think the first song, take time for a, wounded something I don't even know I don't even know you guys I'm so sorry <laughs> oh oh my gosh okay so at least bring me sad songs I know I don't know okay um so that we're we're just gonna go to the the message okay so today it's about relationships and this message has been um, with me for a minute, and it's they're telling me today's the day to let it to let it out for everybody. And this is a, you know, when we are single, it's for people who are in a relationship or single. But bear with me, when we're single, especially, or when we're sometimes in a relationship, but more so single. And we're wanting someone to come in, right? So we're single. We want someone to come in, but we have um, a crush on someone or we've broken up with someone and their energy is still with us. In either case, to a good person, we will seem like we are taken. <clears throat> so if we are single, but we're thinking about a specific person we have shut the door in some ways to other possibility of people coming in. So if you're single and you have a crush on one person and you're just waiting for this person to come through or however we want to say that, um, or you really like someone, <clears throat> your energy is entangled with that person. And the same thing if you've broken up with someone, but you're always thinking about that person or that person is creating energy connections to you, they're still in your energy and it's going to seem like you are still in a relationship. If you're still thinking about what happened, the who, what, where's and why's, or you're focused on somebody that's not moving towards you. So the best thing you can do is just clean up your energy, make a blank slate of, of, of I am just repeat to yourself. I'm single as a Pringle ready to mingle. Uh, I'm available to the right person. And then before you do that, or as you do that, let me apologize as you do that. And I'm going to tell you something, the clearer, your energy gets, the more this list will change. So as you do that, make a list of what you want your husband and or wife, even if you don't want to get married, just call them husband or wife, to be like. What characteristics, ethical qualities, what, what you want, and then what you want that relationship, that marriage type relationship to look like. Because when we're dating, we'll, we'll kind of date this. And then when we're kind of having a boyfriend or girlfriend, which um, I don't really love those terms, but they're there, then we are 
we look at them like, oh, well, you know, we're kind of dating or boyfriend, girlfriend, we're in a serious relationship. And we put up with things in those relationships we would not want to put up with in a very serious marriage type of relationship. But then we end up staying with this person and putting up with those things. So from the jump, make sure you know exactly what you want in that marriage type situation so that the people that you date are your potential husband or wife and not your boyfriend or girlfriend. And again, even if you don't believe in that piece of paper from the government, have that mindset because you deserve nothing less than that. Nobody deserves anything less than everything in a relationship. Okay, I'm going to go to callers. <clears throat> if you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. If you'd like to ask a question in the chat, go right ahead. I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to start with the call log. So uh, 509, 509, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Mindy, and I'm calling from Washington State. Hi there. Did you say Mindy? Yes, Mindy. Okay, thank you. What's your question or connection for the day? Um, my question is, um, I am wondering if um, my sister has anything to say to me. Um, she passed away. Her name is Amy. Okay. And I, it's, I... I typically, well, how long ago did she pass away? She passed away in 2010, and I'm not really sure exactly how. It's she okay. was down with post-mortem injections. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. I I, I feel like um, whew, there's a lot of confusion, or let me, re, let me stop. Let me stop for a second. When she... Okay, thank you. The first word that I'm getting is confusion. So there was either a lot of confusion between the two of you or when she passed, there was a lot of confusion. Passed, yeah. Okay, thank you. There was a tremendous amount because I can't even get it out straight. I have goosebumps all over my legs. If you're getting the goosies, let me know. Um, when she, I just can't even get like, and that's a way sometimes when somebody's trying to, help me understand what the experience was they'll they'll act the way they were or have it come through the way they were when they passed okay so now what i'm going to say to you is this um she had no idea now she's clearing up because now we i did get that message and so now we can move on she's not like that now okay she's not like that now uh the biggest thing she wants to say is um there were mistakes made. Now, you can take that for what that means for you, whether that means well, pre, with whatever happened to her medically or with relationship. There were mistakes made and there were a lot of mistakes made. And if only, you know, that, that famous saying... If I could do it all again, and then she's chuckling because she says it would all happen the same way or it did because that was what we planned when that's that's the way it was supposed to go. Um, she wants to tell you um, there's she's bringing a song through. Oh, my gosh. I've not heard this song in so long. I Again, I can't sing the words to it, but hold on. Help is on the way. <laughs> and I, I don't know any other words to that song right now, but that those are the important words. She, If she could give you a message, it would be, hold on, help is on the way. There's going to be some relief coming in for you soon. Don't, um, don't panic about things. I don't know. Um, maybe this is a prediction for something coming in or something that's going on now. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Just don't panic about things. Everything's going to work. It, every little thing 
is gonna be all right. I love when they break into song in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> it's crazy good. Um, so what she wants you to really know is to just uh, keep moving forward um, and to keep having faith because it's all coming together. Okay, love? Okay. I hope, I really, really okay. hope this was helpful. It was. Thank you so much. That's really nice. Thank you. Oh my, oh my gosh. You're so welcome. And, um, and that if, if she were going to give you one last thing right now, one last message for right now, it would be, I didn't mean for it to go the way it went, but things don't always happen the way we mean for them to happen. Right. So, so that, right. would, yeah. And she's sending you love. She's just sending you love. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. I'll be back Wednesday at 7 PM. You can call in again and I'll be happy to answer another question or connection for you. Okay, sweetie. Thank you so much. God bless you, Tony. Thank you. Oh, God bless you, love. And you're welcome. And it's my pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, connect to a loved one, 845-277-9131. I'm going to try to get a, a question <clears throat> from, the, um, from the chat. I'm trying to see where... Uh, uh, Mimi, Mi, Mina, Mina. Hi, Mina. Welcome to the show. First time here. Thank you for this podcast. My pleasure, Mina. I'm so happy I can help you, Mariah. Hey, Mariah. How are you? So wonderful to see you here. Um, I'm looking just for a quick question. Can I please have a message from my dad? His name is Pasquale. If I said that wrong, I apologize. But goes by Patty. Okay. Thank you so very much for everything. Okay, Serena, can you tell me? Um, I'm tapping, I'm tapping in. Can you tell me how long ago your father passed? Um, and for some reason I'm hearing a month, a month, a month. And maybe that's the anniversary of his passing is coming up in a month, or something's coming up in a month. Um Six years ago, and is what does a month mean something to you? Did it take a month for him to pass? Um, is the anniversary a month? Does a month mean so is something come? Oh, yes, and the goosebumps come. Is something coming up in a month? Is there something coming up in about in approximately a month? Is something going on in approximately a month? And um, this guy, and if you, if you say no, I'm going to tell you there is. You just don't know about it yet. Um, I'm going to tell you there's a new there's a a new anniversary, Serena, coming up. There's something to celebrate in a month. There's something to celebrate in a month. Within a month's time, you are going to have something to celebrate. It's going to be something spectacular. You're really going to be happy about it. Um, oh, her birthday is April 2nd. Maybe that's it. I feel like you're going to find out something. Uh, Serena, I'm going to tell you, I feel like you're going to find out something in a month's time. I just feel like you're going to find out something. And the celebration could be your birthday. This is going to be a pretty big year for you. Um, I really do feel like this is going to be a really big year for you as far as good things coming in or good information coming in, something coming in. So, oh, excuse me. So one of the things I would like to say is, he is, he is letting it, there's something coming in. He's not telling me what it is, but he wants you to know there's something coming in, in approximately a month's time to celebrate. And it's going to be a big celebration, a really big celebration. Um, 
I want to know when you find out, let me know what that is. Okay. Please let me know what that is. Okay. Um, if you're watching the show on one of the TV stations or re uh, the streaming stations, you can watch us live. You can join us live every Monday at um, noon central or Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. Um, come in, join us. I think I did this first one. I'm going to go to 561561. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, 561. No, nope, no 561. Okay, we're going to go to the next one, 856. 856, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, how are you? I'm Rose Maria. The name that you said, uh, Rose. Oh, um, Rosemary or Rosemary? Yeah, yeah. Hi, that's how are you? Doing good, a little bit better. Light, uh, light. The energy, I guess, if that makes sense. Absolutely. So, Rose Maria, do you have a question or um, a question or a connection you'd like today? Uh, a connection, you said. Yes. Or, or like a, you said earlier with the uh, relationship. Oh, okay. Where's my neck? <laughs> oh, that's always a lot. Or if I'm moving or whatever. Okay. Because everybody's asking me if I'm still in Jersey. <laughs> okay, so you want to know if you're go. I'm sorry, you want to know if you're going to Jersey or you want to know. I'm sorry, I'm not understanding uh, clearly. Well, uh, either a relationship or that, act, like you were talking before, like the relationship that I'm single, I'm looking for marriage and all that stuff. Or if I'm moving, because everybody's asking me if I'm still in Jersey. <laughs> okay. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so what I I'm going to I'm gonna tell you, I, and Rosemaria, there's a little bit of background noise, so I'm going to just mute you for a second so that I can focus in on your question about relationship and when that might be coming in for you. So the first thing I'm going to say to you is, there is the potential, and I always say potential because we have the right to say yes or no to somebody, and we have the right to stay in our house instead of going out and meeting people. Um, there is the potential for someone to come in in June, maybe July, or August. So the June-July time period or August. This depends on... And it really, really depends on you being out and about in new areas, new places. So what that basically means on a very small scale is if you always go to this place to get groceries, now go to this place to get groceries. But on a bigger scale, if you get invited to a family reunion out of town or a birthday party or whatever, go and be out and about. I do feel like you meet this person out of doors, meaning in an outside environment, not in a restaurant, not in a inside of a place, and not inside of a building of any sort. You meet this person outside which can be tough because we don't want str strangers coming up and talking, and talking to us. They might just get the mace. Um, is that just me or is that you guys too? Like stranger danger. Um, this is why I'm single. So... Oh, there are so many reasons. Um, no, seriously, I'll get it together. Um, okay, out of doors, you're going to meet this person in an outside. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rose Maria. I've, <laughs> you're going to meet this person 
outside in an outside environment. <laughs> um, and this could be, again, a picnic, a family gathering. It, it's, it's, and I do feel, and I, I'm going to say this, and I, 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 I always caution when I give something so exact. This could be a friend of a friend or a friend of a family. This could be, I feel like even though you meet this person outside, they know someone you know. So like, for example, if there's a big group of people, this might be somebody that came with somebody else or run into, I just feel like that. Okay. That's what, that's what I'm going to say about that. I feel like that's the thing. You're going to meet this person outside. You're going to meet them. Oh, I have to sneeze now. Um, in an environment outside. Okay. That's what I'm going to say about that. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, this show is ridiculous today. Okay, that's what I have for that. I hope that that is helpful. I'm going to try to find a question on the chat. Um, okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, okay, Mariah, I think you are on the phone, so I'm not going to answer your question because you're the next caller. Um, confirm if you're on the phone so I know if I should answer that or not. Message from my uncle saying, yes. Okay, Mariah, just hold tight because you're the next caller I'm going to take. Um, so Julie wants to know, Tony, do you have a message from my uncle Zhang, my father's younger brother? Um, I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Uh, so... Yes, I have a message. No, it's not what you want to. Is it from Zhang? No. Julie, I have a message from the other side for you. And Zhang is there, but he's not the one giving this particular message. Julie, this particular message is coming from grandparents. Um, and Zhang is there. He's part of the message, but it's coming more from there. Although I'm going to say this, Zhang is saying he's sorry. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, he's saying he's sorry. Um, but the grandparents want to say all is forgiven, all is good, and we are on the right track now. Julie, please, please let me know if that message makes sense to you for this situation. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 414. 414, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, um, this is Mariah. I'm from Waukesha. Hey, Mariah, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good, good, good. Now, uh, Mariah, you want to connect in the chat, you said, with Austin. What? It, who is Austin to you? Um, I guess I actually would be open to if um, I think anybody on the other side would have a message for me. Okay. Is it about a specific subject? Um, relationship. Okay. And you're, are you, you're in one right now? Correct. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I'm hearing, and I I might go, I might talk about this a little bit. Um, they don't want you to cry anymore. So, and what I'm going to say is, it's really relationships are not supposed to be something that make us cry. Okay. It's two people coming together in a way that we're supposed to learn and grow together in love, in life, in many areas. And, um, of course, there might be an occasion where we cry because there's a learning curve, but we're not supposed to cry as much. And 
one of the things that I know it's difficult to let go of something and move forward. But if you find yourself, this is really a difficult message to give because I know what you're going to do and I know what they want you to do and I know what you're capable of doing. And um, the biggest, the biggest thing I'm getting is uh, don't cry anymore. I think there's some song by like Pink Floyd or Ozzy or some old school and it's and they just keep playing that song again and again. Don't cry. Um, and what I'm going to say to you is, you know, if you OK, if you. Knowing everything you know about this person and this relationship and your compatibility with this person or how this relationship is working. If you just met this person today and you knew all of this information and you weren't emotionally attached to this person, would you get into this relationship with this person? Absolutely not. You wouldn't. The reason we stay is because we say we love them. We, we, we want to make it work because it worked at one point. We want to have success because we feel we can. But I'm going to tell you a little secret, Julie. When both people want success, there's not this. When one person wants their way and the other person wants success, there's this. So if, if I, I ever, anything I say now is just going to be repeating what I've already said. So I know this is probably not what you want to know but it's what you need to know right now. Yeah. And and here's what I say. I give, I'll say this to you, and I've done this myself in relationships. Give yourself, start in your mind, in your head, make an exit strategy, an exit plan. And give yourself timelines. But with this exit plan, like figure it out in your head how you would exit because most people don't know. It, it scares the bejesus out of them to exit a relationship, whether they live with the person or not. So make an exit plan. If you are dependent on the person financially, make sure you're getting your finances straight with this exit plan. And then give yourself timelines, like without trying to correct an adult person's behavior, right? Stop trying to, if they wanted to be that person, they would be that person. If they wanted to be loyal, if they wanted to be kind, if they wanted to be good to you, they would be that way because they know how to be that way. So if they wanted to be that way, they would be that way. Stop trying to correct them into the person that you hope they could be and just watch how they behave and then act accordingly. Because when somebody okay. truly behaves the way they're comfortable behaving, that's who they are. Okay, that's 100% who they are. Excuse me for a second here. Excuse me again, because I have sneezed and now my nose is completely runny. So, for example, um, in the past, I've, I've obviously dated and I've dated men who stare at other women. We will go out and they're glaring, staring, looking at other women. Now, the occasional women are slick. Women are good. We can lift our glass to take a drink and do a whole up down on a man 2.5 seconds and nobody knows. <laughs> Men, on the other hand, they're just blatantly like glaring at a woman. And if you're with me and I know, you know, these women don't know who they are, but if you're going to glare at another woman, could she please? Not look like she's around the way girl, not, not a uh, what is that like that two trailer park girls on, on the outside, not look like that. Don't, don't, don't stare at somebody that that 
looks like they have not showered in three days. Please, child, please, if you're going to stare at somebody, let her be a 10. But here's the thing about that. I don't need to tell that person it's disrespectful. It's it's uh, just creepy to stare at another woman. Whether you're with me or not, it's just creepy to stare at a woman. Um, they know this. That's who they are. That's what they're going to do. So I need to make the decision. Can I handle this? Even if I can handle this, do I want to? No, I, I don't. I don't want that every time I go out. So what you need to do is you need to look at all the behaviors and everything that's happened, because let me ask you this, Mariah, if this is it for the rest of your life, and it is because that's who this person is, it's not something they're doing, it's who they are, can you live like this for the rest of your life? Now, I and before you say, well, wait, it's not who they are. It is who they are because in the beginning they showed up as this nice guy and then became comfortable and let you see who they really are. And if this is who they really are and it is, is this something you want to put up with for the rest of your life? No. No. And that's the most difficult part because we stay because we think our words are going to change their programs, patterns, and beliefs. And our words, if that was going to happen, the last girl would have changed them. The girl before that would have changed them. The woman before that or their mama would have changed them. But nobody <laughs> up until you, so don't take this as an epic fail on your part. Take it as, oh, I just got an, <laughs> I just got an education in this type of man. Um Take it as that, like many of us go in looking for our soulmate and come out with a PhD in psychology. <laughs> it's good. It's cool. Hey, either way, we win. <laughs> we got educated on it. So now we have to decide how much longer can or should or will I put up with this? And then we have to move accordingly and in silence. Because let me tell you, the moment you say, listen, this isn't working, I'm going to pack up my things, or I'm going to pack up your things, or we're just going to cut it, they're going to go back to that guy you met in the beginning for as long as they need to, and they're going to hook you again, and then, and then they'll go back to how they behave. The idea here is they've already shown you, and they will never permanently be the person you deserve. Does that make yeah. sense, sweetie? It does. <laughs> okay. Now, I know saying this is easy. It sounds easy, right? But mm -hmm. doing it is not always easy. And, and what I would say to you is make a plan and fulfill that plan one step at a time and don't tell anybody because I feel like one of your friends is a little closer to this person than they should be. Now, and that's normal because sometimes we have friend groups and we all hang out together and your friend might think, you know, they're like, hey, you better shape up because she's thinking about shipping up. No, 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 no. You keep this to yourself. You move in silence like a spy in the night and you do what you need to do to get it together and get out and stop stop trying. You know, peanut butter is never going to be jelly. <laughs> that is the craziest thing that has ever come out of my mouth. <laughs> Pe but pe peanut butter is never going to be jelly, okay? You can even mix the two together, but peanut butter is always going to be Peanut butter. <laughs> so just know he's never going to be your jam. Okay. That, oh, that's where they were going with that. <laughs> he's never going to be your jam. He's never going to be jelly. He's never going to be your jam. You need to let go of the peanut butter and get onto your jelly, your jam, your whatever it is. 
<laughs> oh my lord oh lord <laughs> um so that is what they have for you mariah i hope this was helpful and there are like five people on the other side that are like singing like um and saying you've got this you're stronger and you just make one move the moment you take that first step you'll be able to take the next steps now i'm kind of the type of person where i forget the bad things that people do because i'm kind of like doy -de doy -de doy right and i'm okay with that i like that about me um so I have to make little post-it notes of the things that have <laughs> happened so that so that I don't end up back in the same situation again <laughs> with somebody who might not have deserved to be back in the same situation with me. Um, so if you need to have the strength like to keep reminding yourself, if you can't put post-it notes up, write it or put it in your phone someplace to remind yourself to give you the strength to help you move forward in the direction you need to move forward in. Okay, Mariah? Yes, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you're so welcome. And um, it, again, anytime I'm here for you. Okay, love? Thank you. You are welcome and you have an amazing rest of the day. Okay, sweetie? You too. Thank you. You're so welcome. And I'm sorry for what's going on in your relationship. I'm going to, uh, Mariah, before you, I'm going to, I'm going to mute you, but I'm going to say this. And I believe this whole, wholeheartedly. Um, when we're in a relationship with someone and it was good in the beginning and then it goes south or north or whatever direction it goes in. And whether this is a friend a intimate relationship, even work relationship with a boss or whatever. As soon as we leave that and we give ourselves a few minutes to like shake off that energy, people who are more in alignment with where we're going and what we're doing come into our life and we just fly forward. If you're in a situation, ship, a relationship with someone and it is difficult, it's not supposed to be that difficult because two people who want the same end goal that this is so important to just allow to absorb into you two people that want the same end goal will both be working toward that goal and trying to work out any miscommunications, any misunderstandings, they will both be there doing that before it gets to this point. So if you're in a situation with someone and it seems like they just don't care or oh, they don't understand, they understand. They are a full-grown person. They understand. They know. Don't give somebody credit they have not earned. Make them cash up front. Show me who you are, what you are, how you are. Okay? Giving them credit or the benefit of the doubt puts you in debt to them and their bad behaviors. And then you find it very difficult to get out. And this happens to men and women in every type of relationship because we want, we meet somebody and we really like them, love them, whatever we want to call it. And we want them to be the person we believed them to be. It just doesn't always work out like that. And you have to learn to cut your losses. If you have a business and that business is failing, it's not producing. It's not, let me use a car. If you have a vehicle and that car is consistently costing you, eventually you're either going to sell that car, donate that car, or just send it to the junkyard. You're not going to keep it. You're going to go get a different car. And I know we shouldn't compare people to cars, but sometimes we got us a beater. We just, we just have us a beater, an old school beater 
vehicle and we need to let it go and get a luxury ride, sweetie, because we all deserve a luxury ride. We do. We don't have to stay with somebody just because we have been with someone. And I know it's not easy to leave. Trust me. Especially if you're still in love with somebody who's playing games with you. It can be very difficult to leave. And you don't want to believe they're doing that. But you just have to, you just have to put a fold on that and move it on out. That's, that's what I have today about that. I know everybody's situation is different. So please act according to your situation. Okay. Uh, Joy. Joy is saying, if you have time, I'm working on loving myself. Oh, I love that. More to allow more love and more love in. And wondering if you can do something to create more self-love. Absolutely, Joy. Here we go. Joy, thank you so much. We're going to do a clearing, a healing on self-love. We unconditionally and healthfully love ourselves. Let's clear that to a yes for everyone listening, watching, re-watching, re-listening. And this is at the 45-minute mark of the show. All that caused and kept us from fully loving and understanding ourselves has been cleared, healed, released. Let's clear that. Anything stopping or blocking this, let's clear, heal, and release that. Okay, Joy, thank you so much for that. I love that. You guys, I seriously, I think I'm at 505 on the call log. Let's find out. 505, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, hi. Uh, my name is Patricia. Thank you for taking my call. Um, I would like to ask. Um, I am currently in temporary housing. And I, long story short, uh, one of the male staff, I'm finding myself attracted to him. And I think he to me. Obviously, once I leave here, um, but I don't know if I should move forward with that. Uh, there was a situation where I was in my cubicle and uh, getting dressed and he announced himself when he was already on the floor and he saw a bit of me. But anyway, in a, they have weekly meetings and he said it something critical as if, you know, be dressed and so on and so forth. And he made a face. And I believe it was directed to me. But anyway, should I really okay. think about? No, the only thing you should having a French um here's what I'm gonna say, Patricia. Um I don't feel like this is the right person for you, and I don't feel like this is the right time for you to pursue something, first of all, but definitely not the right person. I one of the first things I do when talking to somebody is run them through in our state, it's called CCAP but the circuit court system. And then I run them through the um, registries. And I can't say the actual type of registry on here because I'll get flagged. But the, you know, SA registries. And um, so I would do that just to protect yourself. I think that you mm -hmm. are not this is not the time for this and this is not the person for this with you. I would keep yourself a little bit more um, protected in your situation. Okay, love? All right. I mean, yes. Uh, yeah, my safety is first always. Yeah. For, okay. what, for whatever reason, Patricia... I, and I'm not sure what that reason is, but I feel like this person isn't the safest person for you. Sometimes it can be because of one of those registries. Sometimes it could just be that they're, you know, a user or controlling or whatever. But either way, your timing on this is off and he's just not a good person 
at all for you. Okay, love? All right. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. I hope that was helpful. Okay, I'm going to go to the next. Uh, hey, Heather, how are you? You guys, I didn't even do the call out for everybody in YouTube. And I um, and I want to uh, say thank you. Um, I think Amy May's with us, but she's not. She's not because she's sending me text messages, but I haven't seen her name on here. So, hey, Amy, what's up? Um, Heather, thank you, Heather, so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, Maria, hi. I'm looking for a question. I don't know why my uncle said sorry, but I will send a message to my dad. Maybe he will understand. Thank you so much. Okay, Julie, um, sometimes they say sorry just for the way they went or the pain they left when they went. Uh, whatever it is, talk with your dad about it. Your dad, oh, excuse me, oh my gosh, today, what's up with my, today is so sorry, everybody, please excuse me, um, uh, talk to your dad and see what your dad has to say about it. Um, okay, so if you want to be read, a cat. Tervana, I'm sorry, I, just please post a question in the chat. And then as soon as I can get to it, I will answer your question. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who I believe is 215. 215, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, good. Thank you. I called you like very early and then I got disconnected when I was driving. Oh, um, this is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. And my question is, um, it's another relationship thing kind of related. Um, I met this guy just a couple of days ago, and it wasn't romantic, but there was like this very strong attraction energy, um, at least on my side. I don't know what he was feeling, but um, the interactions have been like really weird, and I don't like the guy. And I know you're going to say maybe, like, obviously this is like karmic and a soulmate or whatever, but I'm just wondering, like, if there's anything else you're picking up related to, um, and I think that interaction is like done also now. So it was like really quick. I kind of sussed it out and it's cleared out, but like, it was just really weird. Yeah. So, um, yeah, anything, anything you're picking up? Yeah. L let it go. <laughs> um, there is, you know, it's really, I love that, like, there was a strong energy there. I love that you said that, because so many people think when we have that really strong energy, that we are, it means that there's some connection. But what that energy can be is an energy of someone, a similar energy to someone from our past who maybe, you know, wasn't whatever with us. I don't want to use whatever words. But what I'm, get, what, what I'm going to say is just because there's this strong energy or initial attraction, being able to sit back and look at the interactions and realize, oh, ick, oh, <laughs> is really powerful because it tells you maybe this is what I was attracted to in the past and now I'm here or that you can do your head over energy or heart. And it wasn't even heart because you didn't even know the person, but congratulations is what I basically want to say. And yeah, no, it's not karmic. It was just, um, it was just one of those things teaching you that not just because you feel a certain way with an energy are when we're really excited and really nervous it feels the exact same way in our energy thank you spirit thank you so when we meet somebody and we think we're having butterflies that could be a nervous system reaction also not only it's sometimes it is butterflies other times it's a nervous system reaction because their energy is just like somebody's energy from your past and your whole system is trying to warn you. But we've forgotten about that person and now we think, oh, 
this is, uh, there was such a strong energetic connection in the beginning. So just, uh, I'm happy that you, you listen to the messages and everything else. I hope this was helpful, even though it seemed like it was a little of a crazy message I'm giving you. <laughs> No, I'm not upset about it at all. I, um, it actually, there wasn't a butterfly. I was repulsed by him the whole time, but there was just like this force field that I felt like helpless around. Okay. So <laughs> that was really strange. Did this guy think that he was my, a teacher to me or something? Because it just seemed like he spoke mumbo jumbo. Like nothing he said made any sense. It didn't seem like he was spiritual at all. It's really, really strange. So what I'm going to, so I'm happy you know it wasn't butterflies and that that energetic thing you talked about before was um, not a good energy. What I'm going to say is I just feel like this guy works a lot, whomever this person is, I just think he works a lot from ego. And that's it. I mean, it could be just that simple. He works from ego and just always feels like they have to be right. I I don't know. I hope that's helpful. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. I just needed to discuss it and like get another point of view because you it, feel, it was like so weird. So, <laughs> thank you. Yes, that's what I, yeah, thank you, helpful. You are so welcome. Right. You, Thanks, oh, I'm sorry, you're welcome. I thought you were done, but I'm I'm so sorry about that. What I'll say is a lot of times, People will in the, you know, when you're going for or talking to people, especially on spiritual levels or evolving or whatever it is, not everybody's at the same level and not everybody comes from the same space. It doesn't make anybody whatever, like he's probably okay for somebody else who's just beginning on their journey but if you already know some stuff or you're already evolved to a certain level, you're just his energy isn't going to feel good to you. There's a lot I could say about certain male like when me, not we're not going to go there today. That's for a different day. Um, just when whenever you're talking with someone if it doesn't feel right just end it just end it oh i gotta go my stomach's acting up i gotta go just don't continue there's no reason to for for any purpose there's no reason to continue that thank you so much for calling in jessica i really appreciate that uh maria if you can see uh, should I, okay uh if you have time can you look into seeing if I should go to Italy in July or August? Thank you. Big hug, big hug back. Maria, if you have the opportunity to go to Italy, go. Um, July, August. August is testing much stronger for you. If you go in August into September. Yeah, go August if you can. The closer to September or even into September is a little bit better than July. Um, it might just be that it might be too hot in Italy in July. I don't know. 90 I'm not, seconds. I'm not sure. But what I can tell you is I'm getting August into September. That's your sweet point. That's going to be the best timing for you. Um, okay. Oh, I'll be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. I want to thank everybody. If I did not get to your call, if I did not get to your question, please come back Wednesday at 7 p.m. or next Monday at noon. I'll be happy to uh, get to your call or answer your question on YouTube. I want to say thank you all for being here with me. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day.